hello guys welcome back to this channel if you are new to the channel don't forget to like share and subscribe and if you are an old viewer thank you for coming back i don't know how this may sound to you i don't think whether i, I don't know whether it will feel like normal to you but i need to say this there is something that is going on in ghana that i found it a little bit excuse me to say i find it a little bit nonsense or senseless in a sense that the very first president of the republic of ghana was somebody that every person looks up to almost all africans if you should go to every african country you will surely find somebody that knows dr kwame Nkrumah, and he has left a very huge legacy ghana's independence and independence of other african countries i'm really emotional at this moment because I don't, I don't see the reason why Ghanaians would do this thing to someone who holds such high esteem, who has a very huge name. According to research, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah is the most popular Ghanaian. If you should go anywhere in this world and ask, do you know Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, there will be surely somebody there to know him. I'm doing this video because the house in which he lived in when he was in the house have been left to rot. Can you imagine the house of Dr. Kwame Nkrumah has been left to rot? They spend the money on V8. They spend their money on themselves. Not even their money. They spend the country's money on themselves and on cars that they were riding as presidents. They spend thousands of cities, millions of cities, to renovate the slave dungeons. They claim they love Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. I will not talk too much. I will leave you to watch this video for yourself. I wonder if you believe this is the house in which Dr. Kwame Nkrumah lived before. The house right there was for Nkrumah, but not built by Nkrumah. It was built by the PWD. They built this house for him so that any time he comes to see his family, he will have access to a place that he will rest. So apparently, most African leaders have been in this house. Any time they come to Ghana, Nkrumah flies them to his hometown and then they kind of enjoy themselves in here. Don't let us also forget that colonialism and imperialism may come to us yet in a different guise, not necessarily from Europe. We must alert ourselves to be able to rec recognize this when it rears its head and prepare ourselves to fight against it. But look at the state of the house right now. This is the country that we live in where people don't care about the history of the continent. They don't even um, consider the fact that we have, uh, we have to preserve our history for the next generation. Our enemies are many. And they stand ready to pounce upon and exploit our every weakness. They play upon our vanities and flatter us in every kind of way. They tell us that this particular person or that particular country has greater or more favorable potentialities than the other. Look at this. Look at this. This used to be the house of the former president of Ghana. I mean, the first president of Ghana, the man who liberated this country, and the man who inspired so many, I mean, African leaders to fight for independence. I mean, this is history. This is history. Even our fort, I mean, slavery forts have been preserved. Places that <laughs> our people were mistreated has been preserved. That is how the house of the former president of Ghana, the very first president, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah's house looks like recently. I have nothing much to say about it. All I want you to do for me is to like this video and share this video. I wish he would be alive by now so that we can see if he can be able to say our country is indeed free forever. He has already foreseen these things. That is why he has already worked ahead but we destroyed it just to tarnish his image thank you for watching this video up to this end don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel for more related content